time we will have a song by the choir. This morning when I rose, yeah.
salt does it come with our announcements? Yeah, it's okay. 
speaking as she just said uh, from the Old Testament. And I'm going to be reading from the book of um, the prophet Jeremiah, starting at the 8th eight, chapter, uh, verse number 18, and going all the way through the ninth chapter, ending at verse number 1. So Jeremiah, chapter number 8, verse 18 through chapter number 9, verse number 1. And I will be reading from the King James Version of the Study Bible. And it reads as follows, verse 18. When would I would comfort myself against sorrow, my heart is faint in me. Behold the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people, because of them that dwell in a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with the graven images and with strange vanities? The harvest is past. The summer is ended and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment hath taken hold on me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? And go on down to the ninth chapter at verse number one. Oh, that my head were waters, and my eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slaying of the daughter of my people. Amen. Amen. So I have read again from the weeping prophet Jeremiah, chapter number 8, starting at verse number 18 and going to the chapter number 9, ending at verse number 1. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doers of his holy word. Amen. Thank you. Amen. To God be the Lord. We please stand for the reading of the New Testament. I will be reading from King James Version, and I will be reading the Gospel of Luke, chapter 16, verses 1 through 13. And he said also unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man which had a steward. And the same was accused unto him that he had wanted, wasted his good. Yeah. And he called him and said unto him, How is it that I hear this of these? Mm -hmm. Give an account of this stewardship, for thou mayest be no longer steward. Then, he, then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? Mm -hmm. For my Lord takes away from me the stewardship. I cannot dig to beg, I am ashamed. I am resolved what to do, that when I put out of the stewardship, they may receive me unto their houses. So he called every one of his lords and debtors unto him, and said unto the first, How much owed thou unto my lord? And he said, An hundred measure of oil. And he said unto him, Take thy bill and sit down quickly and write fifty. Lord Jesus. Then said he to another, And how much owest thou? And he said, An hundred measure of wheat. And he said unto him, Take thy bill and write four scores. Jesus. And the Lord commanded the unjust story, because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are their generation wiser than the children of light. Jesus. And I say unto you, make to yourself friends of the mammon of unrighteousness, that when ye fail, they may receive you unto everlasting habitation. Mm -hmm. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. Yes. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Yes. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteousness, 
mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? Mm -hmm. And if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who, has, who shall give you that which is your own? Yes. No servant can serve two masters, right. or either he will hate the one mm -hmm. and love the other, yeah. or else he will be whole to the one and despise mm -hmm. the other. Yeah. He cannot serve God in them. Yeah. Yeah. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thank you, God. What the devil? 
my God, my Father, my friend, my confidant, my all in all, my lily of the valley, my bright morning star. You are the great I am. Father, it is in the precious name of your son Jesus that we come before you with glad hearts now. Because we are in a worship mode, because we have to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise of how you kept us overnight. Lord, 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 you, you, you are so wonderful. You are giving us the grace, and the grace that you give us means undeserved favor. Lord, we don't deserve the favor that you're giving us. It's because you love us so much. Thank God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. Father God, I need you to allow your spirit now to start at the back of this sanctuary. in the pardoning of their sins. Touch them now as only you can. Somebody came to church this morning not feeling all that good. But Lord, we say thank you. Thank you. Because it could have been worse. Lord, we, 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 we humble ourselves before you. Because you are the great I am. You are who we call El Shaddai. God Almighty, Lord, we ask now in the name of Jesus that you go with the Cooper family during their bereavement. Lord, we ask now that those who are here this morning, we ask that you continue to cover them too now. Lord, we pray Closer and closer to the re-entry, Lord, we ask that you guide us. Guide us, Lord, because sometimes the way gets a little foggy. But Father God, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you will never leave us, nor will you forsake us. Bless our children. Bless our They just cry out, thank you, Lord, all that you have done. Lord, we, we say to you and we proclaim to you that you, as you told the children of Israel, as they were moving from Egypt out of captivity, you said to them that you are God and beside you, there we are. We thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We glorify you. We worship you in spirit and in truth. In the precious and the matchless name of Jesus. Let every heart say amen. 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 If you love it, if you love it, you want to give him a couple of hands. If you love it.
before the students come and the offering is lifted, I'm remiss in not mentioning to you to keep her in prayer, young lady that I went to visit yesterday afternoon over at McLeod. Uh, her name, from what I was told, she used to be a member here, Shavay Williams. Please, please pray for her. There's a young lady who joins us for Bible study on Wednesday. And this young lady, I'm, I'm not going to call her name, but this young lady talked about the demon of mental depression. This young lady is suffering from a severe bout of depression. This young lady who came to Bible study and told us about her dilemma said that it's real. Mental health is real. Even your pastor when went to a retreat several years ago when COVID first hit. And we lost a lot of pastors in the annual conference. Either burnout, said I'm tired, I can't take it no more, or they committed suicide. And I started to think one time, I was feeling a little down. I said, Lord, have mercy. Please don't let this demon, I just pray it off you. Because you see, Satan can't do no more than you allow him. Amen. So you need to develop a strong hold. I know we're interrupting service again, but as I told you, now the Spirit comes, I gotta do this. I have to. Please pray for sure. That, that demon of, of mental anguish will be resolved. God can do all things. Do I have any witnesses? Amen.
Anybody want to know it's God? Anybody want to know it? life 
it's just like the game of basketball. Satan is always trying to trip you up. But in basketball, I want you to stand behind me like you're going to block me. Okay, stand behind me. Keep behind me. But the ultimate goal in basketball is to get to the hoop. To the hoop. But if you don't understand what the goal is, you'll always be blocked out. Come on now, he told us to go with you. The goal is to get this ball into the hoop. But when you try to do that, there is a defender huh? who tries to block the shot. And if you are cunning and quick and fast enough, the defender will slap the ball down. Slap it down. The defender will slap the ball. Therefore, your goal to get it into the hoop has been denied. That's the way Satan is. He tries to block you from getting to the goal. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, sir. Give him a hand. So if you want to succeed in life, You've got to be prepared when that ball comes off the backboard. You've got to be prepared to get your own what? Rebound. Rebound. That's today's message. Rebound. Catch the ball, my brother. Catch the ball. I'm getting out of my hand because I feel like rocking and rolling. I feel like no pressure here to do And y'all get the gist of where I'm going. My brothers and sisters, hear when I say this. Life is pretty much the same way. Huh? If we position ourselves under the goal of life, we have an opportunity to try it again. Am I right? But guess what the goal is? The goal is heaven. Huh? Do I have any believers? The goal is, is heaven. Regardless of how much we love being here on earth, the goal of life is to one day be with the Lord. He said in his words, in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going there to prepare for this. So where I am, you what? But now listen, if you don't awaken from your slumber, if you don't recover yourself from the toils, from the grips of Satan, chances are there will be no room for you in my father's house. If, 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 if we were to take a closer look at the scriptures, we will find that we, or should I say, they may recover themselves. And I want to go to the Greek and let y'all know I went to seminary a little bit. In, in the Greek means that they may awaken from the drunkenness. Now, before you can free yourself from the chains of the devil, you must first awaken from your deep sleep. Help me, Lord. And I'll do God's will now, all right? Now, brothers and sisters, I know that you know there's a lot of evil in this world. Am I right, everybody? Now, 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 listen, I'm, I'm not preaching necessarily to those that are lost. I'm preaching to those that have been saved by the grace of God 
and they are not living it. There are a lot of Christians, a lot of Christians, a lot of Christians today that claim to be saved by the grace of God, but they ain't living that godly life. I know that we are not perfect. No, we're not. We are prone to make mistakes because we live in a fallen, sin, sick world. But I know this one thing. We have a Redeemer and his name is Jesus. Has the devil ever held or taken any of you captive? Oh, you said come <laughs> I'll say it loud. Yes, he's taking me captive. Yes, he has. Great God Almighty. I, I, I guess some of you might ask the question, Brother, why in the world would you ask me a question like this in church? No. Well, believe it or not, it's, <laughs> mm. it's when Satan loves the result. Yeah. This is what Satan loves to desire. If you came to church this morning and purposefully avoided speaking to somebody, Satan came with you. If you came to church this morning holding a grudge against somebody, Satan came with you. If you can't seem to forgive that person who did you wrong, Satan is with you now. If you are jealous and envious of somebody in here, especially in the church, Satan came with you. But I will tell you this, I don't care how bad of an attitude you have, Satan cannot get your salvation. If you've been saved by the grace of God, there is no way the devil can take it away from you. The Bible says we are sealed with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption. You have to understand that it is engraved in the palm of God's hands and, and nobody can take it away. But the devil can capture you. And it says he can do it at his will. Satan, my brothers and sisters, knows our weakest points. He captures our minds. Sometimes he captures our hearts. Am I right? Let me, let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters. The devil is not someone to be messing around with. Especially if you're not strong enough to take him on. I would advise you to stay close to Jesus. Because if you don't, you will falter, you will fail, and you will fall short of the glory of God. Here's, here's, here's what Satan wants to do. He wants to confuse you. The Apostle Paul talked about it in 2 Corinthians over there in the 11th chapter. Paul says, but I am not surprised. Even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Satan and his servants can can, can deceive us by appearing to be attractive. Yes. Appearing to be good and upstanding. Yes. But how many of you know that the devil is a liar? Yes. How many of you know that he comes to steal, kill, and destroy? But he will never, he will never have your life. Do I have any witnesses in here? Yes. Satan wants to control you. Yes. Paul talked about it again. In the second chapter of Corinthians, he said, And when I forgive whatever needs to be forgiven, I do so with Christ's authority for your benefit. So that Satan will not outsmart us. For we are already familiar with the devil's schemes. You've been living long enough to know how the devil come at you. Am I right about it? Pray God Almighty. That's why you have to stay prayed up. You got to stay prayed up. Because God knows that if he leaves you for one second, here comes Satan in the next. Am I right about it? Satan wants to control you. 
like he tried to control Jesus. You know the story, 40 days, 40 days in the wilderness. The Bible says Jesus became hungry and the devil told him, if you are the son of God, turn these stones into bread. Jesus replied, man does not live by bread alone. Am I right about it? But by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Can I get a witness in heaven? You know what I'm talking about. Satan wants to tempt you, but you see, God wants to teach you. If he can tempt Jesus, he can surely tempt you. The devil wants to betray you, but God wants to bless you. The devil will, will, will make you think that he is your best friend, and after a while, you're alone and you have nothing. Satan will leave you, stabbing you in the back as hard as he possibly can. Oh, I need a witness in here. Remember the prodigal son? Went out. Spent all he had on foolish things. When he came to realize he didn't have anything, he said, why? Why do my father's servants have more than I do? He said, I'm going to rise and go to my father. My brothers and sisters, the prodigal son, he got his own rebound. Am I right about it? As I prepare to close this word, I wonder what would you do? I wonder, would you come to your senses? Come to your senses and say, you know, I've done it all for a long time. I don't care what nobody says. I'm going to the altar. I'm going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, please forgive me. The Bible says in Paul, all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Praise God Almighty. Maybe your life is just not where it ought to be for Jesus Christ. Someone once said, it's easy being a Christian. But my response, try being one right now. You are in a den full of wolves. Am I right? The word says, he'll send us forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. And you know what a wolf will do to a sheep. That's why, my brothers and sisters, I would urge you to keep the shepherd close by. If you happen to be in a situation where you say, I, I just don't know how to make a change in my life. I don't know how to make it better. I'm going to tell you, you'll make it better. You can, but God can. God can. Stand under the goal of life. Give it your best shot. And if you see that your shot is off, position yourself again to rebound and start all over again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let the church say amen. 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 Great, give me a beat flat, give me a beat flat. Quiet, can you help me sing this song? Mm. Tell them when you pray, you gotta call. <laughs>
another chance. Position yourself that whenever Satan tries to block you, you do that fancy move and go around him. And you go to the goal of life. Every chance you get, he will try to block you. But don't let him win. If you miss the shot, be in position for the what? For what? For what? For a rebound. That's simply telling you, you've got another chance. Am I right? Yes. If there is one who wants to give him or herself his life to Christ, this is your opportunity.
better revive. Amen. Just ask him a question. Amen. Has your soul been revived? Amen. Go and study the word. Now, so you will know. Over there, Paul was telling Timothy there. He said, get away because the devil wants you to do his will. We don't have time for that. Am I right? My prayer again is that you love to love one another. My prayer is that you love to love one another. My friends, that's the only way we will make it through this world. You may say, Pastor Price, and it sounds like a broken record, but let me tell you something. As often as you can show love, show it. Please, show it. As Price said, the bishop sent us here, but in reality, it was God. He alluded to that. And you know what? To the best of our ability, because I have to include my wife. To the best of our ability, we're going to serve you mm, unconditionally. That's agape. That unconditional love. All I ask that you do is love one another. Yeah, 
I don't know whether, whether y'all understand what I'm thank you, thank you, Brother Rudy. I thank you, Brother. Yeah, go ahead. You want to say something? Yeah, Brother Stanley Hunter, Stanley Hunter, and Butch. Butch, stand up, Brother Butch. You laughing. See, three brothers in here. You think that's it? Booty don't have them fussing at me now. You sure that's it? Who? All right, tell them to stand up. Tell them to stand up. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Great work is being done. Do you all realize that's ministry? That's ministry. To work with those young men. To have them interested in it. Because growing up, we didn't see anybody who looked like us. It's just like with the horses. You didn't see us dealing with horses. My granddaddy had mules, but I wasn't big enough to deal with them. I just want to say thank you to all of you for Amen. being part of the service today. Thank you to my, my villagers, Mrs. Price, my best friend. Thank you to my lady, as always, Mrs. Morris, as my squire, to the musicians. How y'all feeling? Y'all feeling all right? You feeling kind of rejuvenated? Please allow me to get to the delicious 
Please shut the doors. 